Hi, we are Group 1 and we will be presenting on Jadopatia and other folk arts of Jharkhand. In Jharkhand region, mainly there are four types of folk art. The Jadopatia, Patka, Sohrai and Khovar. The first and foremost of all is Jadopatia, which is practiced in the Dumka district of Jharkhand. The Jadopatia word is der- derived from two words, the Jado, which is a Santhal word meaning artist, and Pata, which means scroll. It is found mostly in the Santhal Parganas, with most of the painters living in the outskirts of tribal villages. Tribal themes are painted on pattas, which are generally scrolls, the length of which is 6 to 10 feet and the width is 8 to 12 inches. There are interesting stories related to Jados, which is the painters. It is said that they draw pictures of dead men without the pupils in place, and when they are paid, they put the pupils in their rightful place. Also, they accompany the brides to their bridal homes and on returning draw images of their conjugal happiness, hence assuring the parents of their daughter's happiness. In Odisha and Madhya Pradesh regions, uh, the Jadopati art is also called Patta Chitra. For example, in this painting we can see uh, a depiction of Lord Kali on a scroll. And in the next we can see a painting which depicts death and destruction. Uh, over to Priyanchu. The next form of uh, art is Patkar. It exists in the bordering areas of the Jharkhand and West Bengal and Odisha. They show their scrolls in terms of some the gifts. The term Patkar may come from the local word Patekar. It is also known as Patchitra because it contains songs and words. The communities who paint Pat are known as Patua in West Bengal, while Patidar, Patekar, or Patkar in Jharkhand. Traditionally, Patkar's artists are mainly men. For example, if we see the paintings, uh, in this painting, uh, they are singing and dancing, celebrating any festival. And uh, in the next, the uh, woman is worshipping, and uh, some women are doing household chores. They also uh, do painting which uh, tell the story, any story. For example, in the first painting, we can see. Uh, um, it is said that initially there was only water and uh, earth and thereafter the creator created water uh, creatures and after then uh, two people come out of the mud and finally they, uh, they uh, the creator made a bird which can fly and in the next pin- painting we can see that uh, uh, girls are playing while in rainy season and they are uh, playing with Buddha. Uh, the Sora is a festival celebrated by Kumi and the Pajapati tribes of Hazaribagh district, uh, same time when Hindus celebrate Diwali. Uh, this uh, basically evolved as a result of a uh, vibrant mural tradition by the women of these communities. Uh, this is a basic, basically a ritual art form and uh, uh, it, it includes colorful paintings done totally by natural pigments mixed in mud. Uh, artists use chewed sticks which uh, people in villages used to brush their teeth with. They paint large images on the walls using red, black and white earth. Uh, in Sorai paintings, uh, the cattle and the god Pasupati are worshipped to ensure the fertility of the land and subsequent harvest. Uh, so uh, th- this is a Sorai painting that basically depicts animals, birds and lizards. Uh, this, is, this was done by the Kumi tribe and these forms are used as fertility symbols in these villages, in these paintings. Uh, this painting depicts uh, the royal Bengal tiger and uh, this is a very simplistic painting with uh, repetitions of uh, certain patterns such as uh, lines and touches. Uh, with increase in urbanization only a handful of villages are left where people still paint their houses. Uh, to restore it again into mainstream consumerism, these paintings are now done on handmade paper. Uh, over to John. John. Uh, this cover painting is a mural painting which is practiced by women of farming communities in Hazaribagh district. Cover uh, co- 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 means uh, the walls, uh, the caves which is synonymous to walls and uh, var means marriage which is related to, sorry var means husband which is related to marriage. Uh, this, uh, this ritual art is usually practiced during the marriage seasons. Uh, so in this form uh, a layer of white earth, also called Dudimiti, is painted over the black walls, which is black due to the humus present. Uh, uh, and then the paintings are engraved on this using combs or with hands itself. Uh, this type of painting is similar to the 
uh, ancient paintings uh, like uh, graffito followed in the ancient greek and also uh, pottery uh, in the uh, i mean in, in engraved pottery in the indus valley civilization so here you can see uh, that the white uh, dudimit is applied over the black wall and uh, simple designs are made like for decoration purposes which are mainly used during the marriages or to present so uh, uh the scrolls were basically made from uh, waste paper which were discarded by shops and by uh, government offices because the good paper was not easily available also the scrolls were basically short and consisted of only two to three panels uh, but sometimes they could also contain uh, up to f- uh, uh, 14 panels or more the brushes used by uh, these uh, jadu patwas were bunches of goat's hair uh, tied to a twig or uh, a, a a porcupine quill and uh, earlier the paintings were done with natural colors uh, such as uh, those made from vegetable matter or minerals but uh, nowadays they also use uh, soot for black vermilion for red and uh, mud from the river bed for a rich and uh, 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 reddish brown and uh, furthermore uh, it's a sad truth that uh, this great folk art is uh, uh, slowly disappearing and uh, we should try to make our best efforts uh, in order to uh, preserve this art the government has taken effective steps in order to uh, uh, continue to preserve it and to make it flourish and uh, we should also uh, play our role by uh, trying to uh, uh, give the artists of this great indigenous art form uh, the the uh, uh, request and uh, recognition that they deserve and also trying to uh, uh uh spread more and more awareness about this great art form of india thank you